This one's a quick follow-up to the uh, Frotch Abraham fight um, and the video that I did on the Frotch Abraham fight last night, uh, which uh, a few people have seen now. Um, in that video, I was saying, you know, what what does Carl Frotch have to do to get respect? Um, bearing in mind the, the fact that he ducks nobody, uh, that he, you know, is a, is a great fighter, a, a double uh, world champion now. Um, or a two-time world champion, whatever you want to call it. And do you know what? Um, today, looking on the boxing boards, as I always do after a fight, it's, it's great because there's a lot of people out there who were always mucking Frotch and saying, you know, he's going to come up short, you, you know, he's he's you know he's the limited fighter and all the rest of it. And there are people on the boards today, quite rightly, saying that that was an absolutely tremendous performance. It was a, a boxing uh, exhibition against a, a guy who most people thought would beat Frotch, uh, knock him out. Um, and, you know, so I was saying, when's Frotch going to get his recognition? And a lot of people are now giving Frotch the recognition he deserves, uh, at least people who, who know what they're talking about on the boxing website. So, um, you know, it's just really nice to see that, that people can say, you know, we got this guy a little bit wrong. We thought he was he was more limited than he is. He's, sh he's shown something. The thing is, if you've, if you've just watched a few f fights from Frotch and you've not seen him through from amateur, what he's done last night is he's shown you what a great boxer he can be. And against real slicksters like Durrell or, or Ward, whatever, he may, he may still come up short. In terms of you know getting a getting a, a decision on points, which is the way um, you know those guys most mostly fight. They don't have you know genuine KO power like a like a, um, an Abraham or whatever. But you know Frotch has shown last night he can do something that he was doing when he was an amateur, which is box when he's against a dangerous opponent whose whose who's punch power he respects. Now the difference between Frotch fighting an Abraham who's got massive KO power. Don't think he could ever have knocked out Frotch, but he's still an incredibly hard puncher. He's a murderous puncher, and when Frotch fights somebody like Durrell, he doesn't respect Durrell's power. So he's, he, you know, he's going to fight a different type of fight, and arguably, I think a fight that he's more likely to lose um, because he's not playing to his strengths in the way that he did last night. Um, so you know, displaying all that movement, you know, he was in and out. He was uh, that jab last night was was an unbelievable jab. That's as good as you will ever see anybody jab in a fight. He was snapping Abraham's head back with genuine power jabs for twelve rounds, and Abraham that that crushed Abraham. You heard you heard Frotch's corner saying, you know, the jab will kill him, the jab will kill him, and the jab did kill him. I mean, that was a that was a, that was a devastating shot. It's just a jab. You know, people people might think. They don't know a lot about boxing. That jab was thrown with venom for all 12 rounds. It was in Abraham's face and, and, and then the rights around the pipe, down the pipe, sorry, around the sides of Abraham's head when he's covering up with his peekaboo style, just smacking him with wide shots right around there, ear, temple, whatever, wherever he could, then going low to the body, digging him in there, stepping back, solar plexus, back again, jab, 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 straight in his face. It was absolutely beautiful. And um, so people of today started giving Carl Frotch a bit of respect. I hope yeah, so that's a great thing. I hope Frotch keeps to that style when he fights, um, you know, punches of Abraham's quality in the future. Thing is, though, as soon as he fights Ward or somebody like that, he's not going to respect Ward's power the same way as he does Abraham. So I wouldn't actually expect him to fight that way in his next fight. I think he'll go out there and he'll, 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 he'll sorry, his next fight isn't Ward, but assuming he gets to face Ward, uh, face Ward, I think he'll go out there and he'll try and slug it out with him because he knows he's got the chin and the power over Ward. So uh, Frosch can fight a lot of different styles. Um, and for me, that's brilliant. He's gone through a career of, you know, basically realising his chin's amazing against his peers uh, and doing that. And then he's, he's, he's adapted. He's, he's done what he had to do last night. It was a fantastic performance. Um, and he's shown just what a range, a range of skills he has as a fighter. So um, Carl Frotch, you're a legend. Uh, everybody in the UK uh, thinks you're 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 a top uh, a top top boxer and a, a great fighter, uh, and you're also quite funny as well. And your girlfriend is quite fit, I think, although her voice is annoying. All right, cheers.